Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG, and I'm back with another unboxing video for you guys, as you can see by this box. So, I actually got in some mail from Kevin from Derium CCG, and this is the CCG crate. So, I haven't gotten one of these before, and Kevin uh, actually hasn't told me much about this, so we're going to have a first-hand experience about... Uh, opening this on up and seeing just what we get inside. There's going to be details down in the description below as well as a link that you guys can follow to CCG Crate to sign up for their magic box that they send. But uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at this. Kevin literally told me nothing about this. I am uh, very good friends with Kevin and he messages me on Facebook and stuff. But whenever uh, he said that he's relaunching these, he didn't really say much about it except for, hey, what's your address? I'm sending you stuff. So if I can actually get this thing open, I can't tell, like, this seems like this is the top of the box, but I could be wrong. So yeah, this is definitely like the, the, the top that we already had, but this is really weird. I hate boxes like these. I'm sure this is great for uh, packing and whatnot. Uh, actually, it's taped up even more here. Yeah, there we go. We're just having, uh, we're having some difficulties here, guys. Don't worry about it. It is early on a Monday, I just got done with classes, and yeah, you know, you know how it is already. There we go. This is how it opens. Alright, greetings fellow YouTuber. Well, you're right on that. Uh, I can't read very well, so free stuff and hope the bribe work. That's all I need, Ethereum <laughs> CCG. Alright, so... We have a bunch of cool stuff in here already, as I can see. Uh, so, first and foremost, we have a pre-constructed deck from Urza's Saga, which is actually insane. So, this deck is called Sleeper. Take control of the field with this innovative white creature deck. When the Sleeper awakens, your enchantments will transform into powerful creatures. That's interesting. Not sure if there's actual, like, quote-unquote money in that or not. We have a deck box from Ultra Pro as well. Just a cool design on it. Alright. I see you, Kevin. We have a set of Hyper Mat sleeves. And these are in black. These are actually my favorite sleeves. Uh, I like the uh, the Dragon Shield mats that they just started coming out with as well. But these ones are like my, my next favorite. We have a set of Perfect Fits as well which I think I use these more whenever I'm at the shop for repricing stuff. Uh, oddly enough, these actually fit into uh, like card cases very, very well. Uh, like the ones where you can stack multiple cards in a case and you can put them in a display. And this is actually what I use for pricing stuff at our shop. I uh, put the cards in these first and then throw them into the, the case itself. We also have a Ultra Pro Satin Tower Deck Box as well. I actually really like these. I've never had one of these because I've been using the, uh, the Mana Flip Boxes and whatnot uh, almost exclusively recently. But uh, as long as I can find a way to actually tear into this thing. I think we got it right there. But um, these are really nice. Uh, I'm usually the one to use the the flip boxes, but these ones are great because you can also store dice in them. If I can take this damn thing off. Alright, whatever. This the, the piece of paper just like doesn't want to come off. Probably gonna... There we go. If you tear it, solves everything. So the bottom of it has a little tray for your dice, and then the top of it is a tray for your cards. And this thing, they're they're really like, they're really well designed in that they uh, don't come like come apart loose. So you don't have to worry about it like rattling and shaking open in your bag or in your book bag, whatever whatever you transport your cards in. See, like I'm, I'm having just trouble even opening it as it is, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm already struggling with it. Uh, these boxes are awesome. These are kick-ass. And then the last thing that we have in this box here is a Garrick Wildspeaker vinyl figure. And I love these guys. Uh, a lot of people just collect them and just keep them in the box, but even for the sake of this video, I'm gonna just take this bad boy out of here so you guys can see it firsthand. He's not, yeah, he's not like wired in or anything, I don't think. There we go. There's Garrick. That's, 
That's pretty damn cute. So yeah, Kevin definitely uh, Kevin definitely hooked it up this time around. So for the uh, for the bribery box for the CCG crate, we got uh, the vinyl figure, uh, we got a satin uh, deck box, some perfect fits, sleeves, the Urza Saga deck, and a deck box. So if I had to think price wise, like these are roughly like three bucks. Uh, the deck, I actually have no idea how much this is even going for because it's older. Uh, sleeves are about eight dollars. These sleeves are about five dollars, four dollars, depending on where you go for them. I think we sell them for five bucks. Uh, the satin towers are roughly ten bucks, and the pop vinyls are roughly ten bucks as well. Uh, but also it depends on where you go to look for them. Some places are more expensive. Some places, I don't know, maybe you can get them cheaper. But that is the CCG crate. That is my bribery box that Kevin sent me. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, there's going to be a link down in the description where you guys can do so. You can follow that link. And you can check out that and all the other services that Kevin has on there. Kevin's an awesome guy. He runs an awesome business. And I'm excited to be able to do stuff for Kevin and make videos. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, peace out.